relationship's tough. Can you imagine me spacing once and you're like, oh, I have to eat an up tilt? This is my life now. Yep. Here we are. <laughs> I get to ride all this. Okay, Leon, sure. <laughs> it's like, I'm time to go. We're on Smashville today, baby. This, these are close quarters. And uh, I mean, 71% Leon. Percent food, losing neutral <laughs> once, and he's still stuck in disadvantage. Going to be getting his landing caught out here. And uh, that's how the matchup goes. How do you win this? It's going to be a bit of a tough hill to climb. Tries to get that dash grab, but not able to cover that space and time. Yeah. You're always going to have that heavy tax up, uh, getting up into a 94.3%. But when you get your chance to play, Tode has got to be scared at every waking moment. The amount of raw hit kill power, the amount of ledge play that Leon has at their disposal is just so, so vast. And if one out of ten times you mix up with that down, and one out of ten times you mix up with that up smash, those are the times that it has the potential of killing. Because that is when Tilde can't go through preemptive up tilts, that's when he can't go through preemptive up airs. But that time around, actually going to be unconventionally missing one of his punishes. Yeah. Catching Tilde on the platform there with just a big forward air, and this is the benefit of Smashville. Uh, even with your weight, you're not going to be having your stocks drop uh, up until these massive, mass percents. You're forcing Tode to find some raw hit option as uh, finally that up air closes out the stock. But meanwhile, like just look at the difference of when the stock was taken. Like well, it's around 130 for Tilde when Tode dropped there first, and 200 for Leon. Oh, and tries to go for it all with an immediate down beat just in case Tilde had opted to go to the ledge. Leon needs a way to be able to make it back onto the stage. He goes through the high recovery, just being able to punish Tilde in the startup of what I felt, what I smelt, a down air. Not always looking for those. Finally baiting out that up B and getting a huge punish for it. Just the up air, up throw into three up airs. Ooh, scary in order to challenge that down B, but and it worked out in there. He tried to follow up off of it to try to get it back in. It worked out for him. How does that happen? Tilde is just no nonsense. He's like, okay, I'm just going to get spiky. You got a battery cover. I'm going to be able to get that stock off. Uh, fire against fire. And uh, Tilde finally going to prevail, makes it back on. It's Falco time, baby. And there it goes for a total of 67, but a clean parry on that landing hitbox. Leon timing it out so unbelievably well and keeping this game well within uh, well within reach and well within spitting distance. But the fair meets uh, uh, one of Le uh, Tilde's own fares. Always got to watch out here, though. Tilde oh, yeah. being extremely careful, but the platform means you have nowhere to go away from that flying time. No! Oh, okay. my God. How did he not die? I felt How? like that was going to be it. But was Leon that just a side hit in order to... Oh, okay. There it is. Wow. That felt like that was all Leon. He had that guess. He had what he was looking for. What happened? Just Did it just not deal that much knockback? Just going for the read maybe a little too early? At 66 though? Really? <laughs> well, that or, was oh wait, it was 66 stuff. after the hit. Never mind. Wow. I just also want to talk about really quick about how good of a situation this is, especially setting up tech chase with F-Tilt. F-Tilt, you're able to cover both. Uh, with like a jump down A and with a side B, both of which you're able to get that punish in time. And what happens is, if Leon actually like techs in place, he will be sitting in shield. Falco's down A is deceptively safe on shield. That thing is gonna hit it and you can just still jump away and reset that same situation. That was just so skewed in the favor of Tilde. For sure, like just being able to shut down uh, uh, many of the options that uh, Leon can have at any waking moment. That's the power of uh, of combo-oriented characters and combo-focused characters against these big bodies is that you just are constantly oh, yeah. limiting the amount of options that they have at any waking moment. Because when you give them an inch, they're always going to take the mile. So rolling it back to small battlefield here, and Leon just chasing after the ghost of Phantasm. Totaling up oh, to yeah. a 141 here. And oh, no, oh, no. no! Happens to the best of us. We talked about it before. We're buffering directional air dodges out of multi hits. But that's okay. Leon going to shake that off. He's back onto it. Gets that spot dodge up B. Has Tilde off stage. Is he going to commit to anything? Not quite. Tilde just abusing his double jump height. That thing goes high. That thing goes fine. Yeah, it's, it's honestly the fact that. Uh, Falco isn't quite a fast faller compared to the other space teams. It makes that disadvantage deceptively powerful in comparison to a wolf or fox. You're able to just, yeah, I can just jump out of things and I can jump away from, from things oh. much more reliably. And that double jump is able means that you're also able to extend off of a variety of these hits for much later than you uh, than you could with fox or wolf. Getting that down tilt into down air. Okay, and up tilt 
that is just basically Wheatley up smash, except slow and uh, not as cool. But oh my god, <laughs> it's got that same kind of coverage, baby. Yeah, especially on these small battlefield platforms. I really do like the stage pick here for Leon. You're giving yourself so much value with these platforms, but also meaning you can control state center stage a little bit better without worrying about that center platform. But Tilde is just showing his comfort on this stage, showing just how he can position himself so, so well, being patient for the opener. But once he gets it, letting the full sweet rock. But that up tilt is covering even more than Falcons. I have a thought. Oh, tell me your thought. Did he crouch cancel one of those multi-hits of Neutral and that's why he didn't get popped up into the rest of it? Bowser has a tendency to do that, especially against Ness, when it comes to double jump forward and from the ledge. Oh, but he got, uh, we'll have to wor think about the crouch cancel a little bit later as that down to, uh, that up tilt in the back here doesn't close out the stock quite yet. Giving Bowser a means to get back here. That interesting wall tech, uh, the wall jump tech. Oh yeah. Leon Ooh. trying to scout out this landing. He lands right into him and actually able to get that neutral lane before the up B. Getting that spike, <laughs> setting him all the way to the blast zone. Leon deleted tilt. Why? How? When? <laughs> okay. When Leon is on it, you can see the amount of... We've been seeing it throughout the day. When Leon is feeling good, you see these. Not necessarily these Bowser um, bombs specifically, but the reversals. The reversals that Leon wants to go for. Oftentimes, it, safer options would be landing there or there, but when they're feeling real good, the Bowser bomb to ledge comes out. And it comes in hard. <laughs> oh. Damn, he was spaced by like two pixels. Two of them. Just a little bit. But honestly, the recognition from Leon that he would be above that four leader is just like, damn, that is a matchup experience. Yeah, he plays he plays very, very well into these top spacey representatives with a player like Jackal in his region, players like, uh, and Tilde as well in that region, uh, like just a stone's throw away. Leon looked at this super heavy and said, hey, I've got to learn to deal with combo, and I've got to learn to deal with characters that can vortex me for 90%. How do I answer after that? Oh, yeah. Getting that side B, though, going to be tossing uh, Tilde offstage. That up B coverage, big active hitbox, gets one for you. Doesn't actually have the time to be able to extend that into another hit. Now going to be knocked off stage himself. Uh, what's the play? Oh, ugh. Yet another reversal from Ledge landing with that big down air. I love the clank there from Tilde. Empty landing with a fastball, going for an immediate jab to clash with that <gasps> side B. What? Whoa, what a trade. What? What stones on that lad to look at Bowser Bomb in the face and say, I'm going to up smash this and you're going to have to deal with it. But newsflash, it's a big trade in a big way as we're resetting back down this second stop. Equivalent exchange, baby. Oh, Equivalent yeah. Equivalent <laughs> exchange. Uh, Bowser now going to be stuck in the ledge. Leon going to be looking for this opening. He's being nice and patient. He wants to be able to punish a jump here. Doesn't find that in the exact way that he anticipated. But uh, sometimes you can get away with shield poking. But uh, Leon just kept that shield up and was like, okay, I'm going to do the bouncy thing. <laughs> Why does it keep working? <laughs> Leon he's is going he's simply built different, I'm telling you. <laughs> he is constructed upon schematics that differentiate with the norm of society. What is wrong with him? It's just Bowser, man. It's the Bowser spirit, the Bowser vibe, and the Bowser, uh, the Bowser bomb. <laughs> oh my Jeez. God, that's so unfortunate. Look There's at so many moments that Tilly could have actually possibly gone spiked. Look at how angry he is. He's no, he's not just angry. <laughs> he is mischievous. <laughs> he is up to no good. Oh man. I love these from from Leon though. These callouts, these the willingness to look at Tilde and say, "I'm not afraid of your combo game. I'm going to be swinging out of a disadvantage. Oh, I'm yeah. going to be swinging out of hit stun." And you have to play around that. You have to play around me being being ratchet like this. And if you're not prepared to shut down some of these options, some of these like yeah. weirdo starters and finishers that Leon have been going for then Leon will just keep doing them. Okay. But now, it's a whole nother game altogether. Going to be finding that up here. Oh, but doesn't actually get the up here in time, dealing a little bit too much knockback thanks to the rage. And then also, you know, it's not really a combo move outside of like 10, 12 percent. Oh, just run in, reading the spot dodge with that, uh, with that up B yet again. 
the Whirling Fortress doing so much work here in this set, constantly making Tilde reconsider their shield pressure time and time again. Okay, gonna be roll. finding that side B though. Is that gonna be able to kill? Not quite. Needed about 10% more. Look, that's who have done its in, uh, intended job. And reading that roll again with the well placed up tilt. Leon on the verge of closing out this loser's finals, but has to find their way back through this edge guard. Even Leon, uh, oh. Tilde going deep and finding with that double jump Nair so deep. Forcing Leon to double jump right into their waiting wings. And grabs yet again, because look how much he gets off of it. He sets up a platform tech chase, able to jump, and then option select. He presses side B, I can go for the blue side B after I react to the tech option. That is the beauty of that time setup. You see Captain Falcons ledge trap with up B in a very similar way. The tough guy through the, uh, the late hit of up tilt lets Leon find an, a, uh, a forward tilt of his own. Wow. Cheeky reversals like that, and for multi-hit focused characters like uh, like Falco, sometimes you can get away with that as Bowser. You're forcing Leon, you're forcing Tilde into more and more specific situations. I'm surprised that F Tilt didn't end up too flaming, and yet again, that side be gonna be coming in so clutch onto that platform. Because hey, if you miss it, he's still gonna drop below the platform. Oh, yeah. He probably still won't be able to find a way to be able to kill you, and uh, Leon is just not letting up. This up. is what happened to PK Krista. Oh, elaborate, Dar. Oh, yeah, no, he just, like, turned up. He started right. going through okay. funny little options, and it's no longer as close. It's now, like, a dominant win. Two stocks to one. Tilde at 110%. What's happening? We're just seeing the uh, the power that heavies can exude, and the idea, and the, the, psycho the, the psychology, almost. Like, the only thing that Tilde yeah. feels like they can even... Uh, consistently rely on is up tilt into back air. No extensions, no no sparkles, no flash, no, uh, no superfluous oh. movements. But that extra, uh, cutting short a combo character's combo game just by sheer psychosis is everything that you're looking for as a yeah. heavy. And getting his jump stuffed out has to make it onto the ledge. What an uphill to interrupt the neutral B. Still angles it. He spot dodges instead of committing to an aggressive option. Up tilt is going to sweep, is going to be able to take that stock. Leon takes it over the tilde and makes it into grand finals. Then the, the Bowser mindscape, able to power through those combos, take the tacks, take the hits that you know you oh, can yeah. take, and survive for so, so long as Leon in that third stock and in that first stock, taking him the exact same way, dashing in with an up tilt. Hey, I know your response has largely been defensive when I've approached you directly, so I'm going to call that out with an up tilt both on that stock, the finishing one, and if we could get the very first stock of the game, the first one that Tode dropped. Well, uh, yeah, we'd love to take another look at this one. Yeah, it's, it's the same kind of idea, just Leon, uh, letting Tilde bounce around, mm -hmm. approaching with that shield, approaching with the shield, and then covering all of this space. Well, not only does this cover spot dodge, not only does this cover roll, it also covers jump to platform. It covers jump in nair. It covers like jump in fair. Like I'm eventually, I'm I basically really just scribbling accurate, on the screen. Yeah, I was about <laughs> to say, I feel like most accurately. The best way to describe this is <laughs> like that. And then with, uh, oh, oh my God, gong pen, damn it. Uh, GG's, <laughs> smiley face. Yeah. That's a, that's a big threat bubble, as we say in fighting games. Yeah, you see, I know what they're thinking. Oh, the, the terminology coming out and the gameplay from Leon yeah. knocks out the final member of the New York region in this Defend the North 2022.